Welcome to Apex Esports League. For we are doing Project Cars 2 on the PS4, and we have round two of the Apex Esports League V8 Supercar Championship. And round two is at Rupuna Park GP, and it is um, a five-round series. Last week was the opening round at Willow Springs International Raceway. Tonight's session we have practice um, for 15 minutes. Weather is overcast. Qualifying session is 15 minutes, weather is heavy cloud. And then this first race being the sprint race is 13 laps, weather is medium cloud with no mandatory pit. We'll have a short break and then head into session two where we'll see 15 minute qualifying, weather is medium cloud. And then the main race is 25 laps, weather is medium cloud and there is a mandatory pit. Last week we had Weaven Triple Seven take the lead in the championship with 111 points, followed closely behind is Corby 387 with 88 points, and then the rest of the grid is actually quite tight. So very close points of Kakadu sitting on 83 points, followed by D Train on 79, and then we start dropping down to the 60s with Sami. So we saw in the sprint race, Corby 387 qualified second and take the victory in the sprint race and then we had Weaven Triple Seven qualify in third position and then take the main race win getting the big points and being in a good position to commence the lead on the championship and we have 13 cars so far hopefully we may get a couple of late joiners it will be rather crowded out on Ruapuna Park with a full grid those track temperatures are going to be quite cool at the moment. Again, session time is 9am. And the weather is overcast. And these can be a little bit slippery. It's a lot of fast corners coming into turns 1, 2, and then also towards the back. You've got the hairpin as you head on towards the infield of the track. And then some good technical corners, fairly quick as well. So we'll see them in second and third gear for most of those. They do have to be quite easy on the throttle coming out of there. Otherwise, you can end up into a spin. And it is also a little bit dangerous as well for some incidents, as running off track will actually t see you dive off towards the rest of um, traffic on the inner section of the course. So it is something for drivers to be cautious of and also the pit exit line is in a very difficult position as you can see here drivers heading off into yes into the turn one we have the actual driving line coming into turn one is where the pit exit is with cars going rather quickly into that section it's going to be very dangerous so once we see some mandatory pits occurring in the main race, it will be rather interesting. And potentially some incidents may occur. Corby 387, finding that V8 a little bit slippery around that hairpin. And Corby is coming second in the championship, so he's trailing behind Weaven with 88 points, and Weaven is sitting on 111. So good couple of results here tonight we we'll definitely see an opportunity for him to overpass championship points for Weaven I think Weaven's disconnected so we've lost a couple of cars in a disconnect and thanks for joining us too Zilu he's going for D train first time's coming in a fair few marks on Gallon's car already and he's come through with a 123. Oh, we're getting a lag spike, someone's rejoining. We even is back in. And our championship leader is actually racing away from home. So he's actually on holidays and decided to pack up the PlayStation and the steering wheel. So he's racing in a caravan at the moment. So that's some dedication there to ensuring that he can maintain those championship points. Oh, a little bit of a ghosting going on. Looks like Demon FX's car, and that is where we saw I was talking about the dangerous pit exit. All the drivers are actually in a party chat so they can actually talk to each other. It does allow them to actually communicate and advise when they're coming out of the pits so that they can be cautious of other cars. A little bit of 
understeer going on for Demon FX as he was exiting that hairpin, giving a little bit of extra throttle to get that car to exit. We'll jump on board for a lap of someone in a moment. In case you aren't familiar with Rupuna Park, it is actually one of my favourite tracks to drive. Thanks for joining us, Jeffries. To cheer on a zero. And a zero has just come through for the quickest time, 116, and he's brought that car straight back into the pits. Let's tell some good fast driving by Asami last week as well. He set the fastest lap in the main race. had a disconnect by Gallon in the sprint race last week. Hopefully no technical issues go on for him. He did have a couple of retirements occur. Sasami had to actually retire in the main race. And also Azura and Mersey Blue end up retiring. They did actually leave the session so they didn't get any points for the main race. Sasami remained and got last place points. We did have a couple of debuts last week as well. Nick Cliff debuting with Apex Esports League. In the main race, after qualifying 14th, he did finish in 9th position. And he wasn't, he wasn't with us for the sprint race, so he did join later in the session. That's put him at a little bit of a disadvantage for some points. And also for Coco Dog as well. He joined us for the second session. And then she qualified in 16th position and did finish in 11th. So we wish these two new drivers some luck for tonight. Oh, and a little bit of cutting corner, and this track is very unforgiving for points. A little bit of slip going on in the background. So I was trying to fix, trying to detrain, make our way through the list, who else have we got, and make ourselves familiar with the cars again. And we have Rooney915, he isn't debuting with Apex Esports League, if you've seen us for our past championships, you would recognise Rooney's name, he wasn't able to make around last week but he was keen to get in and join the guys tonight so he's in car number eight might try and jump on board for a lap someone gets a little bit closer to any lap and there is a yellow flag at the moment just out of pit exit there's a normal in blue car number four normal in the championship. He's currently coming 7th with 48 points. Bertie is just ahead of him, but he hasn't joined the session yet. Hopefully we can get him later on. Might jump on board. Ooh, D-Train's just made his way into pit entry. And it is a tricky pit entry to try and get into as well. And it will be a good way to actually get used to finding where that pit entrance is, where the slow down marker is, as it will be more crucial coming into the main race with the mandatory pit. Demon FX is a very tight on time compared to Zero's time, so he's only 0 0.037 of a second off a Zero's time. That is very tight. Not much further behind is Sami, who's only 0.242 of a second off a Zero's time. Only about to easily get a jump on board with. Demon effects for a lap around. Joins. We did have 13, and these DGs having some connection issues. Okay, through turn one and two. Right up on that curb. Well, it's cost him some time out of this lap. And then very quick here off the throttle, and then you can bounce that car up and out and over that curb. Let the outer ripple strip bring you back in. Very tight hairpin. 
very easy to get on the front a little bit too early, especially if you are used to that more sprint track as well as it does normally peel off to a right hand turn. And some more technical corners. We just had DG reconnect. Some faster corners here. It's a big long bend, rather quick. Very quick through here, tap of the brakes and then let that just guide through. Nice and wide onto this corner. Allows you to get a very good line out onto this straight before heading into the final turn. A very tricky corner this one. It is rather sharp, but you can take rather quickly if you get that nice outer line. And then you can just see off to the right there as those yellow lines come out. That is the pit exit. That's where there is going to be a lot of slow traffic starting to come out. And then potentially see some big incidents occur. Zero is still holding quickest time at the moment for 116.257. There's five minutes left of practice. Everyone's getting some times on the board. Just waiting for Ezanobel and DG. ST train is allowing a zero around at the moment. And if you're joining us for the stream and haven't yet done so, be sure to hit that follow button so you can be notified when we go live for any of our broadcasts. And then it also helps support Apex Air Sports League. Don't forget to make yourself known in the chat. Say hello, let us know who you think is going to take pole position, who's going to win the race. Oh, it's a big slide by Demon Effects with a lot of rollback. I don't think he's taken any damage. He'll probably keep the car going. No, he's brought it back in. Oh, a lot of slip by Azuro. And then also in the stream down below, you can actually see some sound effect controls. So you can have some fun with the stream, do various sound effects and cheers and boos or whatever you can see fit in there. There's a good variety of different things so you can have some fun with the stream and whatever's going on just make it yours. And if you ever want to get involved in our races as well you can see our Facebook link down below that heads off to our Facebook page so you can actually follow that page and get all your results and standings from our races that you can keep up to date with your favourite drivers and see how they're doing and also see the results of the incident reports as well which are always quite interesting to see after we've reviewed the replays and then we will have our link there to head off to our group which will also be able to show everything you need to do to be able to get involved in these sessions Oh, a very nice line by Sami Sami's really pushing this car that's on the back straight Oh, that's just cost him right up over that ripple strip. Bounces that car quite bad. Uh, he's probably taken a little bit of aero damage there. This is probably going to cut this lap most likely. That's unfortunate, Zulu. If you don't have Facebook, you are just on PlayStation. You can um, also just join in our sessions we have a couple of drivers that don't actually have Facebook so we can always send through emails of all the event details so you can actually view all our calendar details from our Google Calendar which we can send a link to so if you're keen on it uh, be sure to send a um, message through so you can email us at apexesportsleague at gmail.com oh, very broad by Gallant that was a very well controlled slide ah ok yes that's unfortunate then Z loop hopefully we may end up doing some different events at different times that you might be able to get involved in. If Gallon improves this time, not quite 
So Azuro so far still holding the quickest time. There's a minute 20 left, so there's another lap or so in there that they can squeeze in. Demon FX has brought that car in. Okay, so yeah, we haven't really done any weekend stuff yet. We usually try and work around a couple of other leagues that a lot of our drivers are involved in so that we all sort of have different days of the week. There's not too much that goes on on the weekends. We don't always usually get good numbers when we've had some practice sessions. That has tended to um, change since COVID. There's a lot more people are tending to stay in now. Zero is still holding that time. Demon effect still very tight. Oh, Sami, we saw when we cut to him last time, we saw him getting broad out on turn two there. That was a very nice slide. And then we saw bad luck as he hit that ripple strip. This is going to be a much nicer lap for Sami, I think. Got seven seconds left of practice. This will be last laps. A lot of slide. Sam is really pushing this machine. I think that was as a normal that was just moved out of the way for him. Oh, that's cost him very broad. That's recoverable. I, that is very quick. Follow through. Oh, very broad. He's lost it. Oh, no, on the last corner. That's cost him what could have been a very quick lap indeed. It's now only 35 seconds remaining. This is wrapping up the last laps of these two. Simo Simzel just ahead and as a normal. And then we have those two wrapping up. It's only Rooney out there now. Oh, and Gallon just behind him as well. They're not going to have enough time to finish up this last lap. So that will be the end for the practice session. Drivers getting the most out of the session as much as they can. And a 0143 manages to keep the quickest time in the practice session at 116.257 and Demon Effects not too far off a 0 0.037. You have a second difference between that and then Sami only 0.242. So the entire field so far is looking pretty tight. So besides DJ, he did join later, so not as much practice. And four and a half seconds is the difference between the fields. So that is quite good for the practice. We should see some better times here in the qualifying. Game session time is now 10 a.m. The day has gone on by an hour. The weather has changed from overcast to heavy cloud. It still will be reasonably cool track temperatures. The season for the sessions are... Oh, we're getting some lag. I don't know if that's gallon or... Or can take. Oh yes, he's showing some damage, but I think that's because of the lag spike that we saw. Now did get disconnected last week in the sprint race. Hopefully, he's not going to have any connection issues again. Cars scrambling out onto the track. We have 15 minutes to get in that golden lap, and there are points available for qualifying position as well. So there's 20 points available for setting the pole time. And that dwindles down to four points from 11th position and continues through until 16th. It is very crucial to try and get a very good qualifying position, especially in the sprint race as well. You can usually afford over the longer stint races, so our main race of each event 
can tend to aim for a little bit less of a qualifying position and then spend that time making our way through the field. Like a little bit of lag going on for DG as well before he just spun out there. Weaven's goal is to defend this championship lead. Thirty-three points ahead of Corby. That could be quickly caught up by Corby if he qualifies much stronger than Weaven and then finishes ahead of Weaven in the sprint race. It is bigger points for the main race. They're looking at a thirty point for a win. And then for the main race tonight, that's 60 points up for grabs. That is where we've managed to get the lead on the championship by finishing very strong in that main race. We should start seeing some times come on the board for the first cold laps. All very wide coming out of that corner by Corby. Race stewards on this do like to throw a lot of slowdown penalties for exceeding track limits. It doesn't take much to get a little bit of a tyre off the track, especially on that back straight. There's, it's quite easy to cut that corner. You can bounce that car right up over that strip. And Rooney's come through for 116. That is pretty quick for a cold lap. We saw 116s being set in the practice. Very nice exit by Rooney. That was a brilliant line. Followed through again. Oh, that's going to cost him, I think. Yes, definitely cost him this lap. That was a blistering lap so far. Just brought that car in. To McCliff, his come out with a 118, a very good opening lap. Dero is still in the pits. Let's get that car out. Demon FX has come through for 116219. Let's drop that in. D trains just improved a from a 119 down to 118. Can easily shave off a bit more time. He's just tucking in behind a zero. That's him ahead in the cash now. So cash show car. Very nice line. Various cars showing a fair bit of damage as well. Very nice line through the hairpin. Going to allow him to have a good amount of speed heading into these little technical corners. Look at this look as he gets it over that curb. That is a very good lap so far by G Train. A little bit of slip going on as he gets it around that back corner. He's going to have a very good advantage. He's tucking in behind a zero with a zero setting a very quick practice time. He's going to be able to use the advantage of the slipstream from a zero. That's it for Hawkins, so that's going to be perfect. This is going to be a very nice lap for D-Train. No, he's only improved it by 0.3 of a second though. He was doing a 118.6, so he's now on a 118.3. A little bit of lag going on there. All of a sudden a zero just clipped through his car and then that pulled them up. We have Gallon also coming in with 116s. The fair few 116s starting to come through. Drivers enjoying the slightly warmer track temperatures now. 
Al's car still looking more beat up from the lag issues we saw at the start of the qualifying session. There's eight minutes now remaining of qualifying. Oh, it's unfortunate for him. It's also just slowed up as a normal. Was that Corby? No, it was Corby's car. Corby's done at 117.5. This lap isn't going to be a good one. He's going to have to get around for another one. Very quick time, he's only 0.576 off the quickest, which Demon FX is holding that. Zero's just come through with a 116.8. We saw him in the practice setting a low 116. Demon FX is currently holding that at the moment. And Sami as well in the 116s. I think he's got a good chance of getting a pole position. Saw him really pushing that car in the practice. Demon FX is also tucking in behind. And Sami, oh, that was Rooney's car off to the side, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't improve that time, unfortunately. That is Rooney off to the side. Coco Dog's car. He's in the green number seven. And Rooney is in green white number eight, so that's it's difficult to try and remember all the different liveries for the cars. Demon effects is still holding that time. Bring up some times and just see what his last lap. So his last lap, not so good. I don't know if he's brought that car back into the pits. But 125.993. So he's been out there for five laps. He's doing rather well. Sami's brought that car back into the pits. A zero in with a 116.5. Got it in him to shave off probably a good half a second with the times we saw him set in the practice session with the better weather conditions and increased track temps hopefully he can pull another very quick time and maybe even break that 116 mark five minutes remaining in the practice after joining in late he's saying he's had quite a big day today with work so he's a little bit fatigued so hopefully he goes alright tonight seen some good driving from DG so wishing the best tonight and there's a normal he's also another quick driver Coming 7th, 48 points, and Bertie is just ahead of him, as I was mentioning before, with 65 points. And he hasn't joined, so that opportunity for Ezenomal, Gallon, who are both only 4 points apart, and then, sorry, only 1 point by Ezenomal, and then um, Bertie's on 65 points, so that's a big opportunity for them to get ahead now. Demon's still holding that time. He hasn't been able to improve that lap time yet. We saw much the same scenario occur in the practice session as well. And it is something that happens with this track as well. Ruapuna Park is a very short track, very tight, and not too many good opportunities for passes. So it is actually really hard to get a good, clean lap just on your own. 
usually you're going to find some traffic around that's going to slow you up. Sometimes you can actually be quite lucky and catch up behind someone like we saw before where he's tucking in behind a zero and use that opportunity to try and get a bit quicker. But it doesn't always work, which we didn't see an improvement in that time. All times being pretty consistent at the moment, no real improvements by anyone. There's only two and a half minutes left for them to be able to sit in a really good, clean lap to try and steal that pole position away. Oh, we've just had some movement again as Anomal's just gone up into third position, so that's just bumped a zero down. Demon effects currently. Oh, that's a big hit. I think that was Simo Simsel's car. I'm not sure what was going on, whether he just came out of the pits. That was a big accident for the qualifying. As you can see, the visual damage there, that was a big hit. He's going to have some time to be able to quickly get out for a lap. So he's probably going to set about a 125 to 130 to get out and do another lap. That's very unfortunate. So was just in the pits. He's just come back out. So he should have enough time to get out and around and get one more lap in. I don't think it gives too long to do last laps, but I think they should just get across the line in time to wrap up one more lap. gives a couple of minutes for the short cracks possibly not we'll be tucking in behind at the zero it's currently in the seventh position and you come a coco job as well doing it pretty well with a 117.321 sitting in 8th position will be a good position to start from and he did join us for session 2 last week he qualified 16th so he did join he was in the stream watching the sprint race then got the keen and ended up joining us midstream to actually come over and race so he managed to join in for the qualifying session of the main race qualified 16th finished 11th so with having no practice no setups just to spontaneously jump in did rather well 15 seconds left so he just gets across the line as well we've had Rooney come in with second position Sami in third, so that's them done and dusted. Demon Effects has also brought that car in as a normal is wrapping up this last lap, so there is 95 seconds remaining. Can he improve and steal a position? No, he doesn't, so he remains there. Oh, Zero has brought that car in. We have Coco Dog. Oh, we've had Kakadu join in. I did not notice that. That is good, so we've now got 14 cars out on the track. Like, ooh, a little bit of lag going on for him as well. And Simo Simsel wrapping up his lap after getting that hard shunt and getting airborne last lap around. He doesn't improve that time. He's up to Kakadu at the moment. He's got 55 seconds to finish up the lap. I think he's got enough time. Can he do it? No improvement, I don't think. And we have qualifying results for race one of round two. Complete Demon FX takes pole position, followed by Rooney 9915 in second, followed then by Sami as a normal a zero gallon 350. For Corby, Coco Dog, Mick Cliff, D Train, Kakadu, Weaven, Simo Simsel, and DG0787. So difference between the entire field so we had DG come through with a much stronger time only 4.6 seconds separates the 14 cars on the track so it is going to be very tight over the course of 13 laps for this sprint race so it'll be very 
interesting and very exciting. Most likely some incidents occurring on these first couple of laps. So we can get a good camera angle to see the start of the race. See a few cars. I don't think we're going to get too good of a view. Drivers now have a couple of minutes to get those car setups ready and do any adjustments for qualifying. I'm sure they have enough fuel to get the 13 laps done. We saw an incident with Sami last week after he not getting old position. Didn't have enough fuel. Yes, uh, Sami qualified in pole position, and then we saw him peel off after lap one to go into the pits. So I thought he may have actually been serving a jump start drive through penalty. However, I so had a chat to him in the lobby during the break, he forgot to change his qualifying setup across the bound to be for the race, and he did actually not have enough fuel to be able to last it out, so he had to head back in and adjust that, so that costing him a good shot at actually winning that race with the times he was setting. He was definitely one of the quickest cars out there. He's had a couple of Wins robbed from him from some bad luck. He had some bad luck here. A little bit of a rollback. Rooney's almost going to jump. He's got that rear wheel spinning. Oh, that is a quick start. He gets away off Rooney. Sorry, Demon Effects very quick. Also followed by Ezra Nommel and Gallon going up on that outside, getting onto the racing line, ready for turn one. This is where things go wrong. You cannot go much. Oh, it's some rubbing by Azuro, Demon Effects, and Ezra Nommel. I don't think there's been too much going on as... Oh, we've just had Gallon go off wide big. And he's kind of come back on nice and clean. I think that is also Coca Dog out the back that's just coming back on track as well. I'm not sure what went on there, whether they just were way too quick or if they were stuck side by side and pushed each other off. It's unfortunate. So as a normal now out in the lead after a fair bit of rubbing and carnage going on in the back of the field. It's always wild on the first few turns of this track. Coming in at the speeds you do through turns one and two, at two wide is bad, and then once you start trying to squeeze another car in, there is no room for error. Ezanol is getting away very quickly at this stage. But Zero almost being involved in that incident with Demon FX. So Demon FX has also slipped back to 12th position now. So after starting from position 1, that is very unfortunate for him. It's going to be very interesting to see the replays for this. So be sure to keep an eye out for our incident reports on our Facebook page. If you don't have Facebook, you can still actually go onto the page link and actually view it. From public, you don't need an account to actually see our posts. They are all completely public. So be sure to stay tuned in the coming days once we review this incident. Zero slipping behind as a normal now, leading by 1.8 seconds. A little bit further behind is Rooney 915. Got some catching up to do. Starting to get a zero in his sights. He's closing that gap in on a zero rather quickly. He was quicker than him in the qualifying. So we should possibly see him looking at potentially making a pass in the next lap or so. Sami is sitting back pretty comfortably in position four at the moment. About one and a half seconds behind position three. And Gallon was just behind him as well. Gallon's just heading into the pits. 
not sure what's going on for him, wherever he's taken some damage. He did run off wide, but came back in at might. Is, is he? No, he's serving a drive through penalty. Not sure what was going on, wherever he's had a jump start. The zero is starting to close that gap in on an as a normal. As well as Rooney as well. So as a normal is probably going to be feeling a bit of pressure coming up in the next lap or so. He's going to have a zero and Rooney looking to make a move. You can probably only just hope that these two spend a little bit of time defending position two and can be a little bit preoccupied with it while he tries to further that lead. And Mr. D train Barbado is in fifth position. He's got Mick Cliff right up his tail at the moment. So cars number 11 and 12, matching team colours. Mick Cliff is doing some very good pace. So we're seeing fastest lap times at the moment. I think it is a 1.17.498, and that is set by as a normal at this stage. Mick Cliff is really starting to gain some ground on D-Train very quickly. Taking a good advantage of that slipstream going up pit straight. D-Train a lot quicker getting through turn one and two. That advantage slipped away a little bit. We have Corby starting to close in on Weaven. Weaven's also facing a time penalty as well for not buying a slowdown by the looks of things. But he does have the red number on the standings board. Oh, Corby is right up Weaven's tail. And Weaven is defending this championship from Corby as well. And the two are back towards midfield. If they can't improve their positions by much, or even at least needs to finish ahead of Corby. Oh, they are sitting very tight. Oh, a little bit of lag, I think, going on for Corby's car. I saw a couple of skips. I'm not sure if that's showing on the broadcast screen. Oh, that's unfortunate line for Corby. Turned in way too early. And I think that's Coco Dog just behind him that's just gone off track. Can he get back on in time? The Demon effects also with a slowdown. We'll just see what those second penalties are. Demon effects is wearing a two second time penalty and we even triple seven wearing a one second penalty. Over some very tight racing uh, with only 13 laps around Rupuna Park. Time second penalty of a couple of seconds could easily end up costing you a position when crossing that finish line. We have seen it time and time again throughout our series. But Rooney is still trying to hone down on a zero, but they're still keeping about the same pace. As they start to get a little bit of ground closed in, it starts to spread back out. Nice if I had some sector times to actually compare these guys. It would be very interesting just to see where their strengths are on the track. But as a normal feeling, pretty safe at the moment. He still hasn't furthered that lead enough. But on those straights, Azura is going to be getting a little bit of a draft in. Get that lead out to about three seconds. He should be able to start pulling away if he keeps the lap time as much quicker than a zero. So currently last lap set by as a normal 117.559 and a zero a 118.040. And Rooney has set a 118.023. So that is the reason why we are seeing Rooney really starting to close that gap in on a zero. about the same distance here again so it looks like towards the end of sector two is where Azura is a lot quicker than Rooney but Rooney got a very good exit speed coming out of that second last turn and he follow through here onto pit straight I think he 
he's going to potentially be lining himself up for a move very soon. Still 0.1 of a second quicker, that lap over a zero. So quickly closing that in. Not bad lap times as well for having much heavier fuel loads compared to that of the qualifying session. And the track temperatures as well will have increased. Game session time started at 11 a.m. Weather changed from heavy cloud to medium cloud. And you can see there is now sun out. So these cars will be enjoying much more grip out on this track. We have demon effects starting to close in on Mick Cliff. We're still only a second apart. Like he's got any damage on him, so he's probably going to be closing in very quick. These two have separated by about the same spot as we saw last lap. Very different lines by the two. Azuro takes that much wider line. That's DG0787 in the pits at the moment. Not sure if he's heading in for some repairs. Seen him drop to the back of the field now. So a zero is much quicker in the last turn and the first turn. I think a zero has got the fast corners down packed, but Rooney has got more speed through the technical sections. But as a normal's times are starting to slow down a fair bit, it's now lap eight of 13. His last lap was a 119.120. A zero's was a 118.165. Rooney a 118.350. Rooney a little bit off pace compared to those last two laps we saw. I think as a normal could be in for some trouble. He did nearly have a three second lead that's down to 1.2 seconds now. Zero is fixed on taking a win here. It can be done. Yes, I think Sealoop Demon did just get past me Cliff. And he's quickly catching in on D-Train as well. So he's managed to climb back up reasonably well. We did see him down into about 12th position. I think we've lost someone on the track as well. It looks like we've lost Kakadu. I'm not sure if we lost him at the start of the race. But it's not unusual to not always see Kakadu start the race. He usually doesn't meet the countdown in time. I don't think he's disconnected. I oh, know he has actually disconnected, so unfortunate for Kakadu. And all three here is going to be putting some pressure on as a normal for these last few laps. They are very close now. Less than a second between second and third place. And a zero is, has nearly got that distance between him and as a normal to one second. Their lap times are, are pretty tight. 0.2 apart from each other. That is very close. There we see a zero get away a lot quicker on that last turn for pit straight and then he follows it through with a very fast turn one and two. A very nice line. Gets a lot of lock on that front left tyre. You can see Rooney goes off wide on turn two. Very nice line by a zero. Ooh, lock that back left wheel up heavy onto the brakes. Lucky it didn't go for a slide. Although I think those tyres have copped a bit of abuse potentially. They could be feeling a bit of scrubbing on those front inside tyre I think. Pretty sure the front lefts usually take a fair bit of a beating around this track. Can he catch them up? Oh, there's 
these guys are still trying to close that gap. So Zero's got it down to a second in between. We have Mick Cliff, who's actually recovered some ground off Demon Effects. So he's going to be looking at trying to make a move here. D-Train has managed to hold Demon Effects off. Oh, no, unfortunate for Mick Cliff. That time he made up has now been lost. And here we have a zero now, less than 0 0.1 of a second. He is on the tail of Ezra Normal. On board for a zero, I think he's going to be taking a pass on this lap. There's two laps remaining. It's lap 11 of 13. Ooh, a bit of correction, that's where we saw him walk up that back left tyre coming into the head in the last lap around. And on, we got away a little bit quicker after that as Zero's car's a little bit less grippy on those tighter sections. But Zero has the big speed on those big, wide, fast corners. His roll bar is probably a lot different setup to what Ezra Nobles' car is. The Zero's car a little bit of oversteer through those sharper corners. Oh, a very different line that Azuro has been taking normally. Don't know if that was because he was potentially thinking that his anomaly was going for a slide there. We saw Azuro when we had Rooney hunting him down. We saw Azuro get away very quickly on that corner. And it was because he was taking that corner actually quite wide. It looks like it's very deceiving once you're in that car and actually take it. You tend to actually want to start turning in rather early and you do actually see the driving line where the tread is left on the track actually sort of start turning in a little bit early. Oh, he's locked that up again. I think those tyres are near had it. That's just cost him a big opportunity for being able to get past as a normal now. I think those tyres are had it for a zero. I think that car is really well set up for those faster corners and really struggling with those sharper turns. I think as anomal is safe for now. And if a zero is now contending with some worn out tires, I think Rooney could potentially have it over him. Especially Rooney being much quicker through those sharper corners. Zero is going to have to be doing some very heavy defensive driving to be able to maintain this position too. Final lap. Rooney is going to have to dig deep here. Oh, another lock by Azuro. Azuro having trouble pulling that car up. We saw him lose at least a good half a second on the hairpin in the last lap. Oh, Rooney's just cost himself some time. Be a sigh of relief from Azuro seeing him fall behind in that mirror. Rooney was really pushing that car to try and get a good time out of it. DG's just off in the middle of the infield. Fair bit of fatigue between Rooney and Azura. I think they have not had a chance to not see each other. They've kept about the same time. Oh, another mistake for Rooney. That's going to cost him the race here. That's lost a position that's going to be beneficial for Sami now being able to move into position three. Rooney could now lose another position. I don't know if he no, he's managed to get it back on in time. I'm not sure if there'll be a slowdown, but that's very beneficial. As the normal has crossed the line, winning the first race for tonight. Well done, as a normal. Azuro rounds up in second place. Then on the podium is Sami in position three. Well done, Sami. Unfortunate for Rooney losing it in that last sector. And he only loses two, sorry, one position. So unlucky. D train. Follows up in fifth position, followed by Demon Effects. He could almost lose a position here, potentially. No, I think there was enough time. So time penalty doesn't lose a position to him. Mick Cliff finishes in seventh. Corby in eighth. Weaven, our championship leader, in ninth position. He has Gallon hot on his tail. It's not going to be enough to be able to get a time pass, but he does have a one-second time penalty. 
Gallon steals that position away, he moves up into ninth position, or even in tenth. We have 25 seconds to wrap up the last laps. Coco Dog coming up in 11th position. Oh, off track, he goes for a slide across the finish line. Usually you see a lot of handbrake he's done across the finish line. And then we have the opening race for round two. We have Ezra Nommel at the top of the podium in first position, followed by Azuro in second. Sami also on the podium in third position. Then we have Rooney, D-Train, Demon FX, Mick Cliff, Corby, uh, Gallon 350 after reclaiming a position off Weaven by way of time. Second penalty, and that's why we can see it. Weaven ended up accumulating up to four seconds. So Weaven in 10th position. Coco Dog in 11th. He had a five second penalty that didn't cost him a position. And we had Simo Simzel and DG0787. So there we have our first race for tonight. So we'll be having a, about a 10 minute break so the drivers can recoup and get ready for session two. We'll have a 15 minute qualifying session and then into the main race, which is a big 25 laps around Rapuna Park, so it will be very exciting with what we've seen so far out of the sprint race. So be sure to stay tuned. We'll be back soon and see you for the next session.
And we are back for session two. So we just saw a very tight race with Edwin Nolan taking the win for race one tonight. And we saw Azuro and Rooney fighting consistently throughout the race, trying to get that position away from Ezanomal, but he managed to hold them back. And as you can see, we are at Rapuna Park, if you're only just joining us. Track length is only 3.28 kilometres, and there are 12 turns. We're heading into qualifying session. It is 15 minutes. Game time is 1pm. Weather is medium cloud. Uh, new to our streams, be sure to hit that follow button so you can be notified when we do go live. We broadcast every Thursday night, 7:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. This is a five-round series of the V8 supercars. And we have two races each night on those nights, except for the final, where we have a big final race. We saw some bad luck from Demon Effects in race one. After managing to get pole position for the start, but then having a big jump over him by Bruni. And then after some incidents, we saw Demon Effects fall towards the back of the field and then recovered back into seventh position. So very lucky for him to be able to recover quite well. One of the bad luck we saw, Gallant 350 jump start the race and then had to serve a drive through penalty. It's unfortunate for Gallant. He has had a few jump starts over the course of Apex Esports League's championships. He's usually quite cautious with the race starts. Actually, after we were just talking about it with him then in the lobby beforehand. He's in our Ferrari 48 a challenge. Oh, that is tight. I think that was Ezra Nommel just coming out of the pits. Gallon narrowly avoids him. We saw Simo Simsel get shunted heavily coming from there. JK Gamer using those sound effects. Hearing some others, that is good. Have some fun with those sound effects. They don't cost you anything to use. And we had Kakadu disconnect. He's back in. He's in car number 29. Last session. Yeah, so he's running the same as Demon Effects, that's alright. So if you remember when we see that yellow car, it's maybe Kakadu as well. We saw some good times being set in practice and qualifying. Drivers a little bit off pace in the qualifying though compared to the practice session, which is quite odd considering we actually had cooler track temperatures, it was overcast conditions at 9am for the practice and then we had 10am for the qualifying with heavy cloud. Oh that car was up on two wheels, that really bit down on those tyres as well, that was very close to potentially flipping. Gallon really pushing that car, especially with an opening lap of 116.640. That is a very good first lap. And Sami's also coming through with a 116.551. Zero's in with the 116s as well, 116.713. The effects brought the car back into the pits. Oh, that's DG, I think, going off in the background there. That was a big spin. I don't know if he's taken damage. Yeah, he must have. He's brought that car back in. And our championship leader, who I don't think he did end up finishing ahead of Corby. But he's only 33 points ahead in the championship. Oh, it's a big 
What? Yeah, that was Corby's car that he's just brought that back into the pits. Rooney also feeling a little bit of slip. So, track conditions should be a lot nicer than we saw in the first session tonight. Game time is 1 pm, weather is medium cloud. So, there should be a lot more grip out on that track compared to the first session. And we are seeing some very tight times. I think the quickest time we saw in session one tonight was a 116.2. Oh, Sam is really pushing this car out. A lot of slide, and it's going to cost him a little bit of time. Ooh, more slide again. He's really getting into this thing. He's had a lot of bad luck with being able to finish in a strong position. In the races where he's qualified very high and then managed to maintain lead on the race will start to catch up which we saw in the Formula Rookie Cup where we had a zero end up doing nine wins out of nine races there was really only the there was one race where there was a very strong chance that he was going to be actually taken down a peg and it was Sami who was actually doing that zero had a lot of pressure on then a very late mistake actually cost that opportunity and he's been in the brunt of a fair few incidents at no fault of his own where he's been up ahead and hit from behind or had other cars go out in a spin and actually collide with him. So he's got very good fast pace but just had a lot of bad luck but finished on that podium just earlier so very well done to Sami. And he's doing very well in these V8s. Hopefully that luck continues and I think he's potentially going to be able to probably keep this pole position. There is eight minutes left of qualifying. Zero locking up coming into that hairpin. We saw it happen a fair bit in those last few laps of the race one tonight. Not sure going on for him whether there's a little bit of a setup change or his driving style may have slightly adapted a little bit differently throughout the racing tonight but we did notice a fair bit of difference between all of the cars there was a lot more strength by some in the tighter corners compared to others in those more open fast corners There's not much between our first six. Oh, that narrowly avoids it. I think that was D-Train that's just spun out. Yes, narrowly avoiding some contact. That was very lucky. Gallon coming through with some very strong times. Didn't do so well in the practice and qualifying. He was down towards midfield. I think it was start of race one. Already coming through with a good 116.6 is very nice. Weaven just ahead of Gallon. Weaven moves out of the way. Weaven was just telling me earlier oh, Gallon's gone off. Weaven struggling a little bit with the way he's set up his makeshift rig for his steering wheel in the caravan so not seeing as much zone as he normally is but he is at least getting points on the board to be able to help with the championship and Rooney not doing as strong as we saw him in last session he did take position two for qualifying Demon effects took pole. Oh, that is nothing on on Sami's time. 0 0.002. That is a smidgen of difference between. We have had a couple of times seen the exact time set. It is quite exciting when you do see that. That 
should usually be quite a rare thing to see an exact split. If there is no difference between these guys. It is going to be some fierce racing between these two. And a zero, only 0.399 off pole time. Ah, uh, that's neat, Zulu. Yeah, Rooney was, um, did a fair bit when he first joined with us with Apex. He hasn't been able to get in for a little while. So it's good to see him back out on track with us. Yeah, Rooney is a very quick driver, especially in these V8s. He's very good in these things. have a lot of strong drivers for these V8s as well. And some practice with a zero as well. He also mentioned that he wasn't quite used to the car, struggling with it a little bit after doing a very good strong run in the Formula Rookies. And they are the Formula Ford copies. Project Cars 2 didn't have any rights for Formula Ford, so they made their own car. But Zero has quickly come to grips with the much more horsepower of these cars and has been doing some great driving. He's always had some very good pace in most of our championships. Gallon, who's actually won a few championships with us as well. Very seasoned driver and very much so with Apex Esports League. As the novels come and go on a fair few times and he's very quick in these cars as well. He's along with Corby. He is very quick in most of the series that we've got and he tends to have a knack for stealing pole position on the last lap qualifying so it's always quite interesting when you see that. We haven't had it happen for a while. That was usually the case. He used, used to sit back and head out into qualifying a little bit later and then just plug away at those times and steal pole. Usually right in those last few seconds it was always rather exciting. Kakadu is quite a confident driver in these V8 supercars. Train also. D Train won our Bathurst challenge that we had in the lead up to the Bathurst 1000. We had a short series of three rounds with a variety of different weather and track conditions over the mountains. The drivers got to actually experience a range of difficult situations to see who came out on top, and it was D Train that actually won that was blistering around there. No one could touch him around Bathurst. And Mick Cliff only new to us. He's been doing quite well. It's just starting with us. In Demon Effects and D-Train were nice and tight through race one. Hopefully Weaven has a bit more luck with it's a makeshift setup that he's doing while away from home to be able to get to this race tonight. Great to still see we even be able to make it. Hopefully his family's not too hard on him for dragging out the steering wheel and PlayStation to be able to do a race whilst on holidays. Okay, dog also new to the league. Him, uh, welcome him aboard. Flash of the lights. I'm not sure if that's Demon Effects just ahead of him or Kakadu. Two very different lines. A little bit too much of an inside line by Coco Dog seeing a fair bit of oversteer start to happen on that exit. And unfortunately, oh, a little rubbing going on on the final turn. And 12. Not looking good for these two. I'm not sure who that is that's just going ahead. It may have been Diaz 
demon effects. Oh, a big crackle and pop. Not sure if that was demon's car, as he was using a lot of engine braking. I think it may have been Kakadu's car that we saw. Oh, Kaka's just gone. Oh no, we're seeing some lag going. It's probably going to be a disconnect here. He's frozen. I don't know if the other car... Yeah, all the cars are seeing him stuck, but he's not actually there. I'm pretty sure he's disconnected. Yes, it's just dropped out. Oh no, and then it's going to be unfortunate. There's only 10 seconds remaining, so it's not enough time for Kakadu to be able to get back in. It happened to him in race one as well. Um, he still hasn't improved that time. Demon FX isn't going to have a chance to improve that time. It's going to be up to the remaining cars now to try and steal that pole position away. Is this an improvement? Does he move up the line? Oh, it's an improvement. He shaves off 0.1 of a second, but it's not enough to gain another position. Minute 10 left of qualifying. And there are points available for qualifying. Bob is really pushing this car as well. He's got a minute to get through it. There's a yellow flag issued. That's down the back straight. Someone has spun off coming onto that back hairpin. And Corby steel pole position like I was talking about before. Looks like it's a pretty good lap. Our first eight drivers are only 1.7 seconds. Oh, he improves the time but it's not enough to too much further. Gallon's doing his usual end of session burnouts. Cliffs uh, try and get around him. He's got 16 seconds. I don't think he's got enough time to wrap this lap up. Yeah. So we have Sami maintaining. Yeah, there we go, Gallon doing that burnout for the last few seconds. And qualifying for the final race of round two is complete. Sami gets pole position. A very quick 116.161 followed by Demon FX with a 116.163 only 0 0.002 apart that is tight also followed then by Rooney Azuro, Corby, Gallon, Ezanomal, D-Train, Mickliff, Weaven, Coco Dog, DG and Simo Simsel and we did just lose Kakadu at the end so there's only three and a half seconds separating the field that is very tight our first seven drivers are less than a half a second apart that is very tight so some of those sector times as you can see they are pretty consistent sector two is very consistent as well as number three a bit of variance possibly in that sector one but there is not much between them all in all that is very tight driving for all drivers on field this is going to be a very exciting race Hopefully, better luck for Gallon with not having a jump start. And we saw a blistering start off the lights for Rooney in race one. It's going to be a little bit different this time around as he's on that inside line. So he almost potentially would have wanted to actually qualify in position four as he's got that nicer outside line for these first turns. However, we did see once the cars got free wide through those corners, those outside cars end up getting pushed out and running wide. So that is also a risk to do and to be wary of. Usually Position 1 is usually in a much better position coming into the first turn. However, on this track that isn't the case. Unless you can get a very good launch and get ahead and start moving over towards that right section to defend that line. And where Demon FX did have that position 1 on that left inside. That's where Rooney got that very good jump 
got ahead, which we also saw as a normal tuck in behind along that right side as well. The old drivers have got their setups all set up okay. Have about a minute left to get ready, but once they will hit that ready button, game and sync, and here we are, ready for the final race for round two. It's about to count down. Ooh, nudging forward by Demon FX. Green, green, green. A little delayed start in the end. He was being very cautious of. Oh, we've had Gallon get a great start and have to go off track. The unfortunate thing here, if he makes a pass, oh, that's, I think that is D Train getting rubbed. He was caught in the middle. That is free wide. Gallon spun out and he's now just hit Coco Dog in the back of his nose too that went off in race one as well. That's unfortunate. There's some big issues going on. Sami has dropped down into third position. He's just ran wide and Azura has managed to reclaim into position two. Demon FX has slipped back into position five now. Rooney is climbing up as Anomal's just made a nice inside pass around that sharp corner. He's now up into position two and Azura is leading the race. He did start from position four and he's now in position one within half a lap. So some brilliant weaving through traffic for that first section of the lap. So our pole setter now down into fifth position, unfortunately for him. Some very different lines there taken. We saw that between Azura and Eza Normal in that first race. Where Eza Normal has some brilliant speed around those corners. We did see... No, sorry, I'm meaning Azura was very quick through those. Eza Normal was quicker through those sharper sections. see as a normal close right in on Azuro. Azuro struggling with that hairpin towards the end of race one then also in qualifying session just gone. Oh that is tight. He was right on the tail of Azuro. There was almost touch going on between the two. Saying DGO7 is just all of a sudden in the lead. It's quite interesting. That's now fixed itself. Not sure what was going on there. Must have found a very nice shortcut to have been able to undercut all that. You do see some weird things going on with this game from time to time. A very good line by both of them. No gain for a zero at this stage. A lot of tight times. We've got five cars all tight in the midfield from 7th through to 11th. So we have Coco Dog right up the tail of Rooney, followed by Gallon as well. Starting to separate a little bit more now as Anomal is still trying to hunt down a zero. These two are focused on each other. Demon FX can really start to focus and try and close in on these two. We had faster pace than these two guys in qualifying session just gone. So he should be able to close those times in. He missed out on a good finish in the end after some bad luck in an incident in race one. And after falling to the back of the field, he ended up climbing back up half the grid. So a brilliant recovery. But if he could continue that pace, and I think he did end up having the fastest lap of the race as well. But if that's the case, then he can stay out of trouble race could potentially be a win for him.
look at these three. They are tight. There's less than half a second between the three of them. Oh, Demon goes out for an inside line coming into the hairpin. Oh, there's some rubbing. He had a claim to that apex on time. A little bit of a switch back by Ezra Normal. They're too wide. Oh, and Demon effects just tucks back in. That is some fierce racing between these two. Rubbing elbows through every corner. There was no room for mistake there with tight switching like that. I think we're going to be in for quite a show with these three. And Sami is back in fourth position. He can try and recover some ground. Pit strategy is going to play a huge part in this race still as well. And it's going to get rather interesting once they start coming out of that pit with that pit exit line. With the driver's actually mentioning the actual conditions for that driving line, which I think the game's driving line doesn't quite show. So the yellow pit exit lines so rubbing by these two again, this is where we saw Demon Effects go for an inside pass on that hairpin. As a normal pulled the exact same move on Demon Effects, a little bit of payback through that corner. But a switchback not occurring this time around. That is a very tricky thing to contest who owns that driving line. Once you are at least halfway ahead on the other car at the apex, you actually own that driving line. Doesn't mean that you're going to be free from incident, but you may be free from the way of a penalty point. These guys to really push those boundaries with some good fierce racing like that with out causing any damage to each other or ruining each other's race is great racing. Oh, a very quicker line through for Demon Effects. Fastest out of that lap just gone was as a normal for 118.266. We saw at this stage it was times being set of 117 for the sprint race and then the difference in time here saying about a second slower so there's 118s across most of the field that is because of that heavier fuel load that these guys are actually running for the longer stint race they would have been only carrying half the amount of fuel as before whereas anomal is currently running a 50 litres so the same for a zero. Demon effects carrying slightly heavier. You may be chucking some extra fuel in just to be safe. Depending on your driving style, they can get a little bit more thirsty. Sometimes having a little bit of extra weight as well, especially in these cars where there is a lot of torque onto those wheels can actually help to lay down a little bit more grip which does help in some of those faster corners you can allow to actually adjust your car to have a slightly bit more oversteer to be able to get through those tighter sections and then still have that tread down for those faster corners there's been any time infringement penalty for Simo Simsel He's starting to slip away on as a normal. And Demon Effects is starting to catch up. Oh, he's definitely going to catch up. Oh no, they both followed the same line. That can tend to happen once you start getting fixated on following that car ahead, trying to get that same line. Trying at least to keep the same pace. If they make an error, you usually follow suit. And here we go, a pass up along the inside of pitch straight. Demon Effects flies along. That was some brilliant speed. 
as a normal actually fell a fair way back. I don't think there was that much difference between exit speed coming out of the final turn. I'm sure if there's some issues going on for as a normal at the moment, or if he just fought to just give that position up to Demon Effects at this stage, might be deciding to sit back and just keep a reasonable pace instead of trying to fight tooth and nail consistently as doing so over the event of 25 laps would be very fatiguing at the end. That is something to also consider. Some drivers can endure that. They're usually having your pit stop halfway through can be all right to give yourself a quick bit of reprieve mouthful of water to refresh yourself before that next stint but a zero as we have seen ill through the last championship for the formula rookie cup we had zero actually pit on the second last lap just about every race he can actually last out for some very long stints, which can be advantageous as well when most drivers usually tend to pit at least between that half to two thirds of a race point. But Zero is really getting ahead. Now that he's at that three second lead, he's going to start flying ahead unless Demon Effects can really start shaving some times. And Zero has actually just come through with a 117. I think that's first 117 we've seen on the board it's a very slow 117 but he is doing well out the front probably starting to see demon effects in as a normal fall away in that mirror a bit more he's probably less stressed and being able to zone in the rest of the cars are starting to space out Sami is slowly catching up on these guys so he's not out He's probably pretty lucky, so he's probably going to be fairly safe of incident here, unless he makes a mistake. And if he can get in and have a quicker pit in the end than the rest of these guys, I could see him definitely reclaim some positions from Demon FX and as a normal. Gallon 350 having some better luck this time around, no drive through penalty for him. Pitting in, so I don't know if it's, it's got some damage, so he's choosing to pit rather early. Got ample fuel. I think it'd be tyres. I think he's just deciding for a strategy of an early pit. And we have D train in seventh position, that will reclaim a position as he passes Gallon in the pits, followed by Weaving Triple Seven as well. So. Nick Cliff currently in 9th, DG in 11th, for some strange reason, magically he started coming first on lap 2. Simo Sims are currently in 12th, and I'll have a look, you'll probably get to see the entire board, but I've got to scroll through, so bear with me, he's wearing a 1 second time penalty, that's not going to be really be costing too much over the course of 25 laps. Coco Dog, looking bruised and battered at the moment. I think he was involved in that incident at the start, so he's back in 13th position. Oh, we just had someone run wide. I think that's Rooney. So he's being lapped. Yes, that's Rooney's car. Oh, is that as a normal at the back? No, that is Corby. Corby had spun out in that infield. Unfortunate for Corby. Oh, we have some backed up cars here. Weaven, D Train, and Mick Cliff. We saw Mick Cliff and D Train racing quite well before. Ooh, D Train goes out rather wide on that exit. That allowed Mick Cliff to come in. Oh, he's going to go for an inside pass along this inside straight. Getting ready to come into the last turn. Nice inside line, gets the pass. D Train is peeled off into the pits. The drivers starting to pit in quite early. And a zero is now only only push that lead out to four seconds. I don't think we'll see a zero pit anytime soon. Given his usual pit strategy from the other series. D 
demon effects. He's also gotten a head on as a normal. As a normal now peeling off into the pits as well. That's just just shy of halfway. Oh, Azuro's made a error. He's got some time up his sleeve to recover. He's only lost a couple of seconds. If he is facing some fatigue, he may decide to fit in. Sorry, pit in. Oh, when he's locked that wheel up again, we saw this start to happen in laps 11 through to 13. I didn't get to talk to him in the break as to whether his tyres had had it at that stage. But we started to see a few mistakes by a zero in race one once we started seeing those lockups. So the tyres obviously not having as much grip and potentially some hotter brakes as well. Could have been seeing the car not wanting to pull up and locking up a lot more. If that is the case, it's probably going to be going in. I dare say they would be needing a... Yes, here he goes. Yes, so I think that may have been the case that we saw in race one. And all followed by Demon Effects as well. All takes out the, the markers. That's going to be a bit awkward for those that will be coming in next. As he's now just moved the slow down marker. Sami now moves up into the lead. This is a good opportunity for Sami to try and recover the, that five seconds that he was behind on these guys. He can dig deep. His last lap was a little bit off pace, a 120. So his best lap is a 118.519. What I was looking for. But his pace is a little bit off. Demon effects in a zero. We're in the 117s, and the best is for some is a 118. Unless he can really hone this in for a couple of laps, he may just have enough time up his sleeve to get into the pits and back out and potentially be on par with these guys. I think that's D-Train just behind Sami as well. Yes, that was D-Train's car. We're in his 13 seconds behind Sami. Sami stays out for another lap. Oh, a bit of a lock. The He's done all right. Well, that lap was a 118.742. DG moves over nicely on that straight, allowing Sami to get through. So we have Demon and Azuro. Oh, that's not too bad of a line for Sami. His pace is slowing up a little bit on this lap. He's probably going to want to pit this lap. Outlap has added about five seconds, and then I think it's about 25 seconds we've seen for the pit stop for Demon Effects in a zero. So if we add 30 seconds on, and Demon Effects is currently 28.4 seconds behind Sami, and a zero is 30 seconds. But as I was mentioning, Sami, if he can round up another second on this lap. Yeah, his pace has slipped again. He doesn't want to stay out there too much longer having these times slip off. And if he's passed a couple of back markers, he can use that advantage to potentially slow up demon effects in a zero so that when he does go into the pits, he can come out. And especially if he manages to be a 25 second pit, could see himself still maintain position one with the pit. The zero is tucking behind Demon Effects. Demon Effects has just copped a time second penalty as well. 
that could be costly to him if it's going to be very tight between our top three. They're closing that gap in pretty quickly. Sami really needs to pit this lap. Pace is slipping off on these guys. They're going to start carving him up, especially with some fresh tyres out there. And white fuel loads. Those cars are going to be probably setting some very consistent 117 pace now. So we're going to be seeing very similar fuel loads to what we had in the sprint race for only 13 laps because there's only 10 laps to go. Ooh, I think that's Coco Dog that's just gone off in the back. Yes, Sami's just peeled off into the pits now. This needs to be a super quick pit stop. He can do it. And especially now Demon FX has a... We've got Orta. I've given him the clear. The game doesn't always reflect as to what's really going on. Here comes Demon FX up pit straight. Sami's still sitting there. He must have had a bit of work to be done. I'm not sure if he was chopping up fuel. No. He's slipped back. That was a lengthy pit stop. The Sami's coming out now. Some traffic coming up. That's Corby going past. Gets through clear. The Demon FX comes out in the lead. But he does have a two second time penalty. That's going to cost him if Azura sits right on his tail for the remainder of this race. Crossing that line with two seconds will cost him a position. So he now needs to dig quite deep to be able to push that lead out by at least two seconds before he crosses that line at the end. I think Corby has pit. There's a normal is in fourth position. He's right on the tail of Corby. Sami's re-entered in fifth position. We have Weaven in position six and we have Gallon looking to make a pass on him. Gallon's also got a time penalty. Nazuro has managed to get around. It looks like Demon Effects took that inside line and was rather slow. I think he just gave it to Azura. Azura had some pretty good pace. Demon Effects ran at 121 and Azura ran a 118-101 for that lap. There was no opportunity for Demon Effects to try and defend down pit straight. Very quick into that hairpin. He's recovered it well. He didn't lock up. There was a little bit of understeer coming into that. It could have potentially seen him dive out through that hairpin. That would have allowed Demon FX to reclaim that position and get ahead pretty quick if he had a run off there. There is a tyre wall straight ahead of that hairpin. sections of this track is rather safe for running off but there are a couple of spots where you do hit a mound of dirt or some tyre walls and then that will be race ending if you do make a mistake on those sections DJ's in the pits at the moment Zero is flying through at the moment not much between the two times for Demon FX and Azuro that lap. Only 0 0.060 between the two. They are peg for peg at the moment. As a normal is looking to make a pass on Corby and we have Sami starting to catch up on these guys as well. A bit of lag going on with Corby's car. There's a little bit of a skip going on. That is tight between these three. There's no room up over that curb. There's a normal trying to make use of every inch of this track. Try and get a nice line over Corby. Your Corby is skipping around. They just go past Coco Dog at the moment. He's just moved over, showing the blue flag. That was well done around that turn as well. Ooh, as the normals made a mistake, so Corby's in fair position. There's still some lag going on. 
It's going to have to be something that these guys consider when making a move past as he's going to possibly be in a different position to what they're seeing. Ooh, a shunt coming into turn 12. Almost a hit and run there. There's a normal, had a lot more speed coming in through that apex. That is very tight. Demon Effects is still only sitting half a second behind a 0 for. They may not be at this pace. He's getting on it. His last lap was actually quicker than a 0s. Oh, a mistake by Corby. That may not have been, though, as we are seeing lag issues. There's a normal ducks in, and this is where an incident happens. There was a bit of a lag skip. As a normal thought, there was an opportunity there, but then Corby's car moved back over. Oh, some rubbing again. As a normal's got to be cautious here. I recommend for all our drivers to actually turn on multiplayer names as it shows the pings above the driver's cars. So once they start lagging, they'll actually have quite a high number written above their name. This is how many milliseconds difference you are actually seeing things. And when you are racing less than you know, 0.1 of a second between each other, if you're seeing a ping of 500, that means you could already be touching. So the cars will react to actually having contact. So the same thing happened there. As a normal went for an inside line, but Corby wasn't actually still in that position, so they touched. Simo Simsel's just moved across for these guys to get around. Oh, lock up by Sami coming into turn one. That's cost him a bit of space. Oh, that's a big broad slide. That's Rooney's car. That's cost him. He's gone off. Gallon's gotten around safely. No damage taken by him. He's only lost a position. The Gallon's now climbed up into position six. So as a normal has gotten around Corby now. Corby is jittering a little bit still. Sami's kind of probably have to trying to be cautious of this. Racing close is probably going to be contact a few times with lag here. Over to our leaders, it's lap 21 or 25. Demon effects is really closing on a zero. Zero is probably in the same situation that we saw him towards the end of the sprint race and the first half of this stint for race two as. Those tyres were not holding as well as they were in the earlier stages. And then a zero did start slipping behind in pace. Yeah, Jeffrey's rubbing his racing apparently, that, that is true. To a degree anyway. Orland Demon effects a nice inside wow. pass. Zero has lost a lot of pace. I think he's. Oh, that is nearly costly for Demon effects. So a mistake there. A zero is going to have a nice line here. And coming into turn 12, a zero has been a lot quicker through these corners. Demon effects is going to have to have another crack. Leads now being pushed out to seven of a second again. There is three laps remaining. Demon Effects can dig in for another crack at a zero. Sami has moved up into position three. Gallon now in position four. There's a normal and Corby. Oh, Corby's taken some damage. Not sure just how much it is. There's a fair bit of lag going on with his car. And sometimes 
it will show damage from lag as we saw earlier in session one we saw gallon exit out of the pits i think it was in qualifying session then we saw his car with significant damage just because of lag so it registered that he'd made contact somewhere but he actually didn't Z loop. the red numbers next to their names for their position numbers is when they've copped a time second penalty. So there's a lot of time second penalties. I don't think I've ever seen this many. But we can see on the timings board at the moment there are a lot of time second penalties. Highest is two seconds, so it's not too bad. And this track is very tight on giving out time second penalties. Demon effects will need to ensure if he gets past the zero here he's got to put some time over him to make up for that time second penalty as well otherwise he'll give up that position by way of penalty zero is not going to have an easy time keeping demon effects at bay i don't think There's not much between the two in pace. Last lap was a 118.540 and a 118.592. Demon effects went for a much more inside line around the final turn. That's cost him some time. I think Azuro can manage to hold this off for another two laps. pushed out that lead to 0.9 of a second now. Very nice line through that hairpin. Oh, Demon Effects has made an error. Bit of oversteer coming out of the hairpin. Down towards the back at the moment, we have Coco Dog closing in on Corby. Oh, a little bit of an error that's just cost him that time he was gaining. Demon effects has slipped behind a fair bit. He's safe for a position two unless something drastic goes wrong in this coming last lap. Sami is 10 seconds behind Demon effects. Sami is pretty safe as well. He's got six seconds behind on Gallon. I think Gallon has a time penalty as well. And we have the final lap, and Azuro is. Flying out ahead. I think it will be a winning lap here for Azuro unless he makes a big mistake. He's got some traffic coming up ahead. Sure. I think that's D train just up ahead. Brilliant drive for Azuro. He can be very cautious for this last lap. He doesn't want to push it too much. He doesn't have a time second penalty to be worried about. And if Demon Effects does get past him, he's got to at least get two seconds ahead. So unless Azuro makes a big mistake, this race is his. On to the final turn for round two of the V8 Supercar Championship. And Azuro is coming up for the win. This race is his. Well done to Azuro crossing the line. Race done. Congratulations on the win, Azuro. Demon Effects goes to go for a slide across the line. Sami again on the podium taking third position. Congratulations, Sami. Gallon 350 coming up in fourth position. I think he's safe, he won't lose out by time penalty as Rooney's wearing them as well. He comes up in fifth position as a normal after a very good race up towards the front. Having some issues with making contact with Corby. There's some lag going on for 
those two being the brunt of the incident. It will be an interesting one to review, but I'm pretty sure that will be lag affected. We have our current championship lead after round one, Weave and Triple Seven. Still finishing reasonably strong, considering he's all doing it on a little spinning table in a caravan. Well done to um, still turn up for the race. Nick Cliff wraps it up in eighth position. D Train comes up in ninth position on <laughs> rolls that car across the line. That is brilliant. Nice finish for D Train. Hand braking into a roll across the line. And we have the results 0 143, top of the podium in position one. And then followed by Demon Effects in position two. Sami in position three. Followed by Gallon 350, Rooney as a normal, Weave and 777, Mick Cliff, D Train, Corby, Coco Dog, DG 0787, and Simo Simzel. And then we had Kakadu unfortunately disconnect before the start of the race, so missing out on joining for that. So that concludes the racing for round two. Next week we have round three of the five round series for the Apex Esports League V8 Supercar Championship. We have, round, sorry, round three is Long Beach Street Circuit and it will be a very exciting race for that one. It's lots of walls and not too many opportunities for passing. It's going to be very tight racing and the main race is under lights so it's going to be very different conditions for the drivers and is going to look spectacular as well so be sure to hit that follow button if you haven't done so already so you can be notified of next week's race when we go live but we'll be going live on Thursday night 7:30 p.m australian eastern daylight time so thanks for tuning in and we hope to see you trackside next week